Cold weather vehicle testing has become a hot button topic in some Bemidji neighborhoods. Our Josh Peterson shows us how the city of Bemidji is working with the industry to curb residents' concerns. It's become a common sight each winter around the North Country. But for some residents in Bemidji's Nymore neighborhood, it's a sight that has become too common. Cold weather vehicle testing has become a thriving industry for the city of Bemidji, but for some, it comes at a cost. Headlights in their windows at night. Mm -hmm. It is just the fact that there, there is just a lot of traffic and there's little kids and there's snowbanks and there's kids walking from school and they worry about their mm -hmm. children. During Monday's work session, it was also brought up that test vehicles were damaging the roads, which according to the Public Works Department, isn't the case. These cars, these trucks are not doing any damage to the city roads. Um, these things are frozen, there aren't low limits on, um, so there's, there's no damage to the city streets. While Councilmember Erickson mentioned she would like to see regulations put in place on cold weather vehicle testing in the city, Councilmember Hellquist had a different point of view. It's not, it's not an issue. It's part of what I look at as a growing, thriving industry in Bemidji. It's got a huge footprint that it does for the economic base of Bemidji. At the table with council members was both Roush and MDE Engineering, who run cold weather testing in the city. Both offered to work with the city to help ease any concerns. We try to uh, keep them out of the heavier residential areas if at all possible. Sometimes, like I said, we put them in there because it seems safer for us to do that. Moving forward, both companies agreed to continue the discussion about the concerns over the routes that would ease stress on residents and keep traffic moving in the right direction. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Both Roush and MDE employ nearly 300 drivers in Bemidji during the winter months. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.